Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes Tobacco and Whiskey. So today I've got my good friend Warren Bile with me. Warren is famous, guys, because Warren is the man that's been on Brian Levine's show, Pipes Magazine, right, radio. That's awesome. How did that come about? I don't know that that necessarily makes you a celebrity, but... but uh... In my eyes, <laughs> it makes you a celebrity. And also, this is the gentleman that runs Turbotin.com. We've talked a lot about Turbotin.com. And I want to kind of talk to you a little bit about that. Can you give us a little, a brief uh, history of how that came about? Yeah, I mean, it, it, Turbotin, I, I'll give you a couple of little tidbits there. I mean, I was just getting started pipe smoking a couple years ago. And... I was reading all these posts online about all the great tobacco and I was trying to find it online going from one retailer to the other and not finding everything I was looking for and I went, man, you know, someone's got to have a website on pipe tobacco that's like, you know, Expedia for travel or something that shows you every airline that's available. And I asked around, I, I, I think I sent a note to Steve Allen, Pipe Stud, and, and said, hey, is there anything like this? And everyone came back going, no, I don't think there is. And so it was just an idea in my mind. And then uh, my nephew came to spend uh, the summer with us. And he was in, in uh, undergrad college doing some computer science and physics. And, and I told him that, hey, you know, I'd, I'd like to build some you know, kind of a search engine type site for pipe tobacco. I, but yeah, it's probably take me too long to figure it out. A day and a half later, he came and said, hey, Uncle Warren, what do you think about this? And he had the beginnings of it. And initially, we were going to call it like Turbo Tad, right? Like to speed up your tobacco acquisition disorder. <laughs> but, if you, but if you look on your computer keyboard, the D from Turbo Tad is right next to the X from Turbo Tax, Tax. and yeah. so they wanted like five thousand dollars for the uh, for the site name, the domain, and so we kind of said, well, let's call it Turbo Ten, and and that was available, and so we we fired it up, and it's it's free for people to use. We've got a, a, like thirty different websites that we go and scrape twice a day, and you can sign up for notifications so that if we if we see something that you're looking for it'll send you an email and and hopefully you can jump on it and get it but um, but that's not always the best way to get tobacco there's other ways too which is what we want to talk to you about today because we hit our local brick and mortar and, and I'm not from this area we're in Austin right now and Warren is from the Austin area I used to come to the pipe club meetings here mm -hmm. because my wife used to work in Austin but now she's back up in the Dallas area but I keep in touch with all my Austin friends and so when I come down here I still hit the local brick and mortar which is Pipe World and we've got a buddy named Kale at yep. Pipe World that really really takes care of us and you know sometimes guys you're going to get the best prices at your online retailers. Sure. You know, smoking pipes, tobacco pipes, pipes and cigars, whatever. But you're not going to always find the things that you want to really, really try unless you get out there and look. Huh. And Warren's website is excellent for hitting those online presents. Right. But you don't know what your brick and mortars might have. Exactly. So we walked into uh, Pipe World today, and we saw Kale, and of course Kale greets us always like he does. He's a great guy. Yep. And uh, we stumbled across some gems, and let me share some of these with you. First of all, I got a nice tin of Germain's King Charles. You don't find that everywhere. And if you're an English lover, this is something that you definitely want to uh, to give it a try. We got a nice tin of Dorchester Esoterica. We got the CND House Reserve, which only is sold at brick and mortars. This is a uh, mixture of Virginias. Mm -hmm. My boys are gonna like this one. And we got, this is the prized one. Eight pound, eight ounce bag of Esoterica Stonehaven, which is difficult to find. And I will tell you, we 
on Turbo 10, we can see the notifications that people are looking for. The Stone Havens is the top one that everyone's looking for. Yeah. And so you can, even if you're getting notifications from Turbo 10 and, and it says, hey, there's Stone Haven in stock. Well, if you, if you weren't watching your email closely, most likely you're going to miss out. Yeah, so within this, 10 minutes, it's going to be gone. Yeah, where this, in this case, you walked into your local brick and mortar that you've got a relationship with. And, and and they they had one and and kale it, it wasn't even on the shelf and I you know I saw a bag of uh, 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 esoterica that he had on the shelf and I say hey you got anything else and he says but yeah by the way we do have some and that's how I got the Stonehaven so it's always great to get, go to your brick and mortars and ask and stay stay uh, uh, current with them let them know who you are cater to their business right go in there and 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 uh, you know be a friend essentially we got some peter heinrich's golden sliced my oldest son nathan is always looking for this it's excellent some balkan sobrani yeah as you can tell i dropped a pretty good dime on this this is peter heinrich's special curly which is kind of tough to find as well. And then last but not least, Peter Heinrich's blend number 39, which is a nice medium English blend, mm -hmm. all day English. But it didn't stop there. No, you know, it doesn't. We were, we were sitting in the lounge, smoking our pipes and having conversation, and somehow we came across the topic of estate pipes. And we asked Kale, how often do you have estate pipes come across your counter? <laughs> he goes back into the back and brings out two big tubs of um, pipes that people just give him. Just say, eh, we don't know what to do with these anymore. Here they are. And so Kale opens them up and says, pick whatever you want. Yeah, pick what you want. And it's amazing. You know, this, this is because of the relationship that we have with our tobacconist at a brick and mortar. So I found a nice little, I guess that's a Rhodesian or a Bulldog. That's a Bulldog. Yeah, a little a bent, bent Bulldog bent or something. Bulldog. Yeah, that uh, we're going to take and we're going to work on and restore. As you can see, it's been smoked before. It's got some teeth chatter right there. But I mean, for free, I'm going to have the opportunity to try to restore a pipe and see how good I do. Yeah. You know, and maybe start something that I would have otherwise not been doing. But here's the cool thing. Even though this doesn't have the top part of this, well, some people call this a Tyrolean pipe. Some people call it a German hunter's pipe. Right. You know, whatever. But that's what this is. It's all briar. It's got woodworking of an elk on the front of this. Who knows how old this is? Yeah, really nicely carved. Yeah, and it's in great condition. It's got a wind cap on it that, that's functional. The bowl in it is fairly clean. Um, you know, I'm going to take this and restore it. Yeah. And this will be something that I remember for a long time, and it'll get passed down to my boys. Yeah. So, you know, for free. Just, you know, take what you want. We took this, and it was, it was really a nice gesture. That otherwise, if I hadn't stopped in, never would have had the opportunity. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, and uh, free tobacco. He gives us free samples. Yeah. To yeah. take home. I mean, these are these are the reasons why you should be building a relationship with your local brick and mortar. Everything nowadays has gone to the online purchasing. Yeah. And and just one thing, just that I re remembered off the. I know some of these free samples were coming out of Kale's personal stuff. Yeah. So it's not like he he's giving us free samples for what they have for sale in the store. It right. was his, it was his personal stuff. Yeah. Well, and that's how how I mean I I think the pipe community is one of the most awesome communities available out 100%. there. hundred percent. Yep. I mean, people just are willing to share everything that they have yep. with with other people. So anyway, now Warren, one of the reasons why I wanted you to come on today. Okay was because you kind of, Warren is a relatively new pipe smoker. That's how long, right. How long have you been about smoking? About two and a half years. Yeah. 
So, um, as far as experience goes, you know, we're talking about relatively new person here. But Warren, when I've noticed about you is when you do something, man, you you jump in with yep. both feet. And That's you, right. You really do it. So Warren has gone out and really. Um, explored the tobacco world right and has found some really gems and I want you to talk about them a little bit tell me about this website that you found that you order all these these are all European uh, blends yeah. so I, I'd heard a number of people talk about some of the good blends that come out of Germany but they aren't marketed here in the US so the only way you get them is you have to order them from Germany and of course if you go and look uh, some of the websites over there, they don't ship to the U.S. Um, but I found one, that I, know, I think a number of people use, it's called Estervals. Their website's a little different name, but if you, if you do a Google search for Estervals Pipe Shop. I want you to text that to me and I'll put it in the description uh, of the video so that if you guys want to click to it, you can go straight to it. Yeah, and, and so I just, I just took a chance. I, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to ship you know, pipes and tobacco internationally, it can really be a hit and miss. You know, trying to get pipes coming over from Europe can take forever. Um, but it was, they got a great online uh, site and it had really good details on, on whether they had stuff available, the level of stock, and the prices were decent. I mean, they're in Euro, which is about almost par with the dollar, maybe 10% more. Um, but shipping is high. It's like about 50 bucks to ship. Um, but I'm like, well, I want to try this because I, I, I'd heard so much good feedback on, on these, these blends. Um, you know, kind of when people are talking about, well, what if, you know, McClellan's is gone and who else is still out there? Well, there's this, the guy behind HU is a, a German guy. I think his name's Hans Biedermann or something like that. And so he's made all these blends and he has them, uh, you know, packaged by uh, Klaus and Cobb. But so I go to this website, I fill, filled my cart and, and ordered it from them. And uh, they shipped DHL, which is a big international carrier. And I thought it was going to show up in, oh, 10 or 15 days. And I was thrilled to, to get it that quickly. Um, like three business days later, it's on my doorstep. Um, I was just shocked that it came that quickly. I must have just hit all the all the paths correctly and got on the plane that got it over here and, and got it here quickly. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. And of course, they do a great job. I mean, if, if you guys have, have seen some really, really well packaged uh, pipe tobacco, I mean, this was this blows out any, anything out of the water that I've seen. I mean, they all the tins are stacked. They're all wrapped in cellophane they're packaged in there the whole package is wrapped in in brown paper i mean it's uh, they, they're really doing it right you know so i was i was happy to get a bunch of blends that people had talked about that i i know you just can't get for sale over here so so you when did you order this i i ordered it probably uh like on a thursday like uh, what? In, in the middle of december during Christmas time, and you got it in three days. Yeah, it was it was on my doorstep the following Tuesday. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, that that's really awesome. Yeah. So share with us what you got. So I, I, I having having not tried any of their blends before, I, I grabbed a couple that um, had been uh, you know hi, highly recommended by people. This this one is in their African line. It is called Tuareg. Um, it's in English. Um, and what they do, on, at least on these paint tins, and I, I like the paint, the paint cans because they, they hold the moisture really, really well. What they did is they, they, instead of just putting a component list like you typically see, maybe in some marketing speak that, oh, it's a nice blend of Virginia's, what have you. They put the blends uh, together, but the size of the text is in relation to how much is in the, is in the blend. So I'll show it to you really close here. You can see where it says uh, this is a 52% Latakia blend and then they've got the others in different sizes. So you can just quickly look at the tin and go, oh, this is a uh, heavy Latakia blend. It's got a little Orientals, it's got Virginia's, other things in there. And it, I think that's a really unique marketing thing. I wish, I wish maybe more yeah, people would do something visual. like that. Yeah, visual. Yeah. Um, so that's their African line. And then they have uh, a line that's um, called the Clans of Scotland. 
and I was interested in this because it's like a uh, all of them are Latakia blends, but they're aromatics. So this one, uh, Buxton, is uh, basically a uh, a light Latakia blend, light English, if you will, but it's got a uh, raspberry topping on it. And maybe a little, flor- I won't quite say Lakeland, but a little floral essence to it. So really interesting. I, have, I haven't had a chance to try them yet, um, but because I just got them. Well, you'll have to get back yeah, with us and let but, us know but how that's uh, really interesting. And then, of course, one that was just, you know, it just, it just suited me. I, I love the chocolate-covered oranges at Christmas time. And they have one that's called uh, Baha'i Orange. And uh, it, it really has a really strong orange chocolate, uh, you know, tin note to it that is just amazing. I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how, see how that one yeah, uh, when smokes. I, when, you know, you gave me some last night in mm-hmm. a small uh, Ziploc bag. And I smelled it and I, I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. But then you let me smell it out of the tin mm-hmm. today. And it was like... Bam! It was totally in your face. Yeah. And I think this is one that Ian is going to really, really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let him share that one too. So how? I mean, basically, use your regular credit card, right? Yeah. It does all the conversions for the euro to the dollar, and yeah. And I I would I would recommend. I mean, that's typical for traveling international. Use use a credit card, not a debit card, because then the credit card company does the conversion for you. And uh, that's what I did. And it was just easy as could be. You know, I do know some people say that, you know, even even ordering from them, it can get delayed and take a little bit longer. Well, that's typical with, with international. But I was just surprised that I, at least my first order with them was just amazingly fast. I mean, I've, I've had domestic companies I've bought from that have taken way longer than three days. I yeah. mean, they might take a week and a half. Um, and that's just trying to get from the East Coast to Texas, and here it got all the way from Germany yeah. to here in three days. So, so Estervals, Estervals Pipe it's Shop, Pipe yeah. Shop. All right. Well, we're going to put that uh, website at the uh, in the description, so that if you want to click and look for yourself, uh, it'll be available to you. Warren, thanks for doing this. Hey, I appreciate it, Tom. Thanks for coming down and spend some time down in Austin. We always love having you down here. You know, I miss it. Uh, the, this is probably the the craft beer uh, capital of Texas. That is true. Yeah. By the way, we're at Fourth Tap, which is a, a co-op brewery in Austin, Texas. Some of the best beers that I've ever tasted come from this brewery. It's not real big, but boy, they got their act together, I'll tell you. So I'm going to post some information on Fourth Tap. So that you can see if you can get some of their beers. All right. Well, thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Guys, I appreciate all your support. I appreciate all your comments, suggestions. Keep them coming. Don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.